Expressions involving insects from bees to butterflies. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel Gold Tongue English. Today, we've got a buzzworthy topic for you expressions involving insects from bees to butterflies. You've probably heard some of these phrases before, but have you ever wondered about their origins and meanings? Stick around as we explore these fascinating expressions. Busy as a bee. The expression as busy as a bee is used to describe someone who is exceptionally industrious and hardworking. Bees are known for their constant activity, especially when collecting nectar and pollen to make honey. Therefore, when you say someone is as busy as a bee, you are emphasizing their diligence and the fact that they are always occupied with tasks and responsibilities. This expression is often used to praise someone's work ethic and productivity. Sample sentence 1. I've been as busy as a bee this week, with work, chores, and errands piling up. Sample sentence 2. She's always moving around the house cleaning and organizing just like a bee in her hive. Beehive of activity. The expression beehive of activity is used to describe a situation or place that is extremely busy, lively, and full of bustling and energetic activity. It draws an analogy from the behavior of bees in a hive, which are known for their constant movement and productivity. When you refer to a place or situation as a beehive of activity, you are emphasizing that it is bustling with people or things actively engaged in various tasks, much like the organized and busy atmosphere within a beehive. This expression conveys a sense of high energy, productivity, and a lot of things happening simultaneously. Sample sentence 1. During the holidays, our house is a beehive of activity, with family, and friends coming over to celebrate. Sample sentence 2. The workplace was a beehive of activity, as employees prepared for the big product launch. Make a beeline. The expression make a beeline means to move directly and quickly toward a specific destination or goal without any unnecessary detours or delays. It is often used to describe someone's focused and determined approach to reaching their intended target. The phrase draws an analogy from the behavior of bees, which typically fly in a straight line between their hive and a food source, making the shortest and most direct path. So, when you say someone is making a bee lean, you are emphasizing their intent to reach a place or achieve an objective as efficiently as possible, without getting distracted or deviating from their path. It conveys a sense of purpose and determination in their actions. Sample sentence 1. As soon as I entered the amusement park, I made a beeline for the roller coaster it's my favorite ride. Sample sentence 2. When the doors opened for the Black Friday sale, shoppers made a beeline for the electronics section. The bee's knees. The expression the bee's knees is an idiom used to describe something that is exceptionally excellent, outstanding, or the best of its kind. When you say something is the bee's knees, you are emphasizing its high quality and superiority. This phrase likely originated in the 1920s and became popular during the Roaring Twenties, as part of the slang of the era. Sample sentence 1. That vintage car is truly the bee's knees it's the best of its kind and in pristine condition. Sample sentence 2. This homemade apple pie is the bee's knees it's the best pie I've ever tasted. A bee in her bonnet. 
The expression a bee in her bonnet is used to describe the person who is obsessively preoccupied with a particular idea, topic, or concern. It suggests that the person is constantly thinking about or talking about this subject, often to the point of being overly fixated or agitated. The phrase draws an analogy from the image of a bee buzzing around, inside, a bonnet a type of head covering, causing discomfort and distraction. This expression is often used to convey that someone's thoughts, or interests, are dominated, by a specific topic, and they can't seem to stop thinking, or talking about it. Sample Sentence 1 she has a bee in her bonnet about environmental issues. She's always talking about sustainability. Sample sentence 2. Ever since her trip to Paris, she's had a bee in her bonnet about learning the French language. None of your beeswax. The expression none of your beeswax is a colloquial and slightly humorous way of telling someone that a particular matter is none of their business. It is a polite or playful way to deflect or refuse to answer a personal or nosy question. This expression is a euphemism for saying none of your concern or none of your business. This expression is typically used informally and in lighthearted or friendly contexts to maintain boundaries and protect one's privacy. Sample Sentence 1. When someone asked about my personal finances, I politely told them, that's none of your beeswax. Sample Sentence 2. Kids often ask, why can't I stay up late? And parents may respond with, because it's bedtime and that's none of your beeswax. The birds and the bees. The expression the birds and the bees is a euphemistic way of referring to the topic of sexual reproduction and human sexuality, particularly when discussing these subjects with children or in an indirect and less explicit manner. It is often used when explaining the basics of how babies are born or how animals reproduce. Parents or educators sometimes use the phrase the birds and the bees to introduce this topic to children in a way that is more comfortable and less explicit. It's a way to provide age-appropriate information about reproduction without going into explicit details. The phrase is rooted in the idea of nature and life cycles, where birds and bees are often associated with the concept of mating and reproduction. So, when someone mentions the birds and the bees, they are typically referring to a conversation or explanation about sex, relationships, and reproduction, particularly when the audience includes children or when discussing these topics in a more general, indirect way. Sample sentence one inch when your kids start asking about the birds and the bees, it's important to have an open and honest conversation with them. Sample sentence two. In many cultures, parents sit down with their children to discuss the birds and the bees when they reach a certain age. Mad as a hornet. The expression mad as a hornet is a colloquial phrase used to describe someone who is extremely angry or furious. The phrase draws an analogy from the aggressive and irritable nature of hornets, which are known for their painful stings and hostile behavior when they feel threatened. So, when you say someone is mad as a hornet, you are emphasizing the intensity of their anger suggesting that they are very upset, irate, or agitated. It's a vivid way to describe strong and visible anger or frustration. Sample sentence one inch after losing his wallet for the third time this month, he was mad as a hornet. 
Sample Sentence 2. The team was mad as Hornets after losing the championship game by just one point. Stir up a hornet's nest. The expression stir up a hornet's nest is used to describe an action that causes a lot of trouble, controversy, or problems. It implies that by doing or saying something, you've provoked a strong and often negative reaction from a group of people or a situation, much like poking a hornet's nest would lead to an aggressive response from the hornets. When you stir up a hornet's nest, you are figuratively agitating the situation, often unintentionally, and as a result, creating turmoil, conflict, or a flurry of activity. This expression is commonly used to caution against actions that might lead to unwanted consequences or difficulties. Sample Sentence 1. Bringing up that controversial topic at the family gathering really stirred up a hornet's nest. Sample Sentence 2. The journalist's investigative report on government corruption stirred up a hornet's nest in the political world. Butterflies in your stomach. The expression butterflies in your stomach is a figurative way to describe the feeling of nervousness, anxiety, or anticipation, especially before a significant event or when facing a situation that makes you a little uneasy. It's that fluttery or queasy sensation in your stomach that can accompany feelings of excitement, apprehension, or stress. Sample Sentence 1. Before my big presentation, I always get butterflies in my stomach, but once I start talking, it gets better. Sample Sentence 2. On her wedding day, the bride had butterflies in her stomach as she walked down the aisle. Ants in your pants. The expression ants in your pants is used to describe a person who is restless, fidgety, and unable to sit still. It's often used to characterize someone who is experiencing a strong urge to move around, or who appears agitated or impatient. The expression suggests that the person is as if they have ants crawling around inside their clothing, making them feel uncomfortable and compelled to keep moving. Sample Sentence 1. The kids had ants in their pants during the long car ride, they couldn't sit still for a minute. Sample Sentence 2. After waiting for hours at the airport, I had ants in my pants, eager to board the plane and start my vacation. Stop bugging me. The expression stop bugging me is a colloquial way of telling someone to cease bothering, annoying, or pestering you. When you say this to someone, you are asking them to stop asking you questions, making requests, or engaging in behavior that you find annoying or intrusive. It's a straightforward and direct way of expressing your desire for the person to leave you alone or to quit bothering you. Sample Sentence 1. I've told you three times already please stop bugging me about finishing your project. Sample Sentence 2. She kept bugging me to try the new restaurant in town, until I finally agreed. Put a bug in your ear. The expression put a bug in your ear means to suggest an idea, convey information, or plant a thought or notion in someone's mind. It's often used when someone subtly or indirectly influences another person's thinking or decision making by offering a piece of information or advice. This expression is commonly used to describe a gentle or persuasive way of introducing an idea or suggestion without being 
forceful, or pushy. Sample sentence 1. He put a bug in my ear about a fantastic job opportunity in a different city, and now I'm considering it. Sample sentence 2. Her friend put a bug in her ear about taking a photography class, and she's excited to explore this new hobby. Snug as a bug in a rug. The expression snug as a bug in a rug is used to describe a person who is very comfortable, cozy, and well protected in a particular situation. It implies that someone is content and feeling warm and secure, much like a bug in this case, an insect that might be nestled comfortably within the folds of a rug or blanket. Sample sentence 1. With a warm blanket and a cup of hot chocolate, I was snug as a bug in a rug on that cold winter's day. Sample sentence 2. The baby was snug as a bug in a rug, peacefully sleeping in the cozy crib. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The expression don't let the bed bugs bite is a traditional and light-hearted way of wishing someone a good night's sleep or saying good night. It is often used as an affectionate or playful way to bid someone farewell at bedtime, particularly among family members or close friends. The phrase, while whimsical in nature, references the idea of wishing someone a peaceful and undisturbed night of sleep. The mention of bedbugs is typically not meant to be taken literally, as bedbugs are pests that can infest sleeping areas, but rather as a gentle and humorous way to express a goodnight wish. Sample sentence 1. As parents tuck their children into bed, they often say, Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bedbugs bite. Sample sentence 2. It's a sweet bedtime tradition to wish someone a peaceful night's sleep and add a touch of humor with this saying. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and comment below.